I lost my soda. Are you my soda? Hmm. These are fucking delicious, by the way. It's like a Dr. Pepper, kind of. Dr. Savio. I fucking love them. Mm. Mm. I actually like the taste of stevia, so. I just got my new eyeballs and they are uncomfortable as fuck. So uncomfortable. I think they look rod. Um, I can see like if I do that, I can see. If I squeeze really hard or open really wide sometimes, they have my prescription in them, right? But I can't fucking see. I mean, I, I can, like how many fingers am I holding up? That works just fine. But they're not terribly uncomfortable. They were really bad at first because I had like, my makeup was really pretty. And I went to put them in. And I got a bunch of makeup in my eye, which was really uncomfortable. So, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do my makeup. Um, but I definitely understand why. Uh, a certain other YouTuber always has messy makeup, always picks messy styles, because they look good, for one, but, like, I don't know, it's hard to see, and maybe if I get another pair at some point in time, it'll be easier to see, but it's really hard to find one that I like. I'm really, really picky. Like, these these are fucking cool. I've never seen anybody else wear these. And they match my style. So, it's good. Good that I have these. Probably just lay down on the ground or something and just wait for the vultures to come get me. I'm speaking of video games, so I went ahead and bought Baldur's Gate free. Because I said I would, and I'm doing this thing where, um, where I'm trying to do what I say that I'm going to do, <laughs> even if it sucks. Whoa, whoa. I heard, Bald I heard Baldur's Great Gate was one of the best RPGs. Baldur's Great, series. bruh. Yeah, Baldur's heard. Gate, yeah. Yeah, I heard it was great. It's pretty good so far. Oh, oh, like the old Baldur's Gate were fucking fantastic. I got Baldur's Gate 2 when I was in 5th grade. Yeah. 5th grade. 6th grade. Sorry. 6th grade. It's um, a little outdated at this point. Huh? No. It's still 20 bucks. It's still fucking 20 bucks. Minsk and Boo. Fucking awesome. Um, no, no, I got, I got... The, wait, did you just say to me? Minsk and Boo? Minsk and Boo are free! What? No. It's this, like, bald man who's got... Like these tattoos all over his body, and he's got a little hamster, and Boo is his hamster, and he's super cute. Squeak! And he actually technically counts as a as a, an inventory slot item, but that's his that's his familiar, the cute little hamster. In Baldur's Gate. Mm-hmm. Ah. And, mm -hmm. and Boo. And Boo. Gotcha. And like he was always talking to Boo and shit. Like it's it's really fucking cute. Anyway, I got it on, uh, I got, what was it? Fuck, so in the sixth grade, it was when I left, I went out to Harper, right? And there was this, like, really disturbed kid, um, who, uh, I guess, for whatever reason, you I mean... Were black scleral lenses and dyed their teeth? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm Not, that sorry, Not that disturbed. Not that disturbed. Um. So no, there's this he's a kid. He was he was like probably from just a bad home or whatever. But like he um. I I would like. He wanted some of my shit. Like I had I had money sometimes. You know, like birthday money or whatever or like you know, some other video game, whatever he wanted, and he would give me 
in exchange, he'd like give me um, other games, but he would never just like give them to me. Like, um, like that's where I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater from. Was from him. I think I gave him like ten bucks or something, and he took the cartridge and just threw it. Which I was like, you know, it's that loser kid who was like, oh okay. Like so. But yeah, I got that. I got The World Is Not Enough from him eventually. I guess I don't know if that was the same year or not. And I got Baldur's Gate 2, four CDs, and the Brady Games um, full color guide. So that was like fucking cool. It made me really happy. I had like the cheat codes in the back, and like it was an entire walkthrough. The game was fucking awesome. I mean, but I, I grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons, so, like, because my uncle was, like, really heavy into D&D &D and all that kind of stuff, and so he had, uh, he had all these miniatures. He's the one, and I don't, don't know if I told you about him, but, um... Me or them? <laughs> you. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, he's, he's the one who passed away, and... You know, he was always into war games and those kind of things. He had all these original, like the original books, the original characters, the original, like he had terrain that he had built, terrain he had bought. Yeah. Warhammer? Warhammer, Dungeons and Dragons, Bolt Action, a uh, bunch of different kinds of games too, not just those. Hmm. When he died, um, most of it, including some of my stuff and some of my brother's stuff, because you know, that's what happens, it got all mixed up. Uh, a bunch of it got auctioned off and given to charity, which is sad. No, that's how he would have wanted it. As the president says, sad. It's how he would have wanted it, honestly. So, it's sad that, it, I mean, what, was I going to use it? I mean, my brother would have wanted it, but um, it's just a lot of stuff. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth, so. Probably like hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars worth. Like holy shit, you know, it was his life, right? He was a gamer. Um, that's not all he did, but you know, that's. Anyway, oh. the point. The point being is that so I grew he's, up. He's he's your family member that you take after then. <laughs> gamer. More on the gay, less on the mer. Eh, to be honest. I'm not sure about that. I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, we we. Or is, is Gamer the new weeb? I don't know about new. Anyway, so we, we played D&D &D growing up. We played, my brother and I had played D&D &D since we were like little, 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 little. Friends played D&D &D here, my friends played D&D &D out there, my friends over there played D&D. &D. We've been playing it a bunch, so Baldur's Gate was fucking awesome. Because it's like basically playing D&D &D on a computer. And the music was great, the characters were great, the story was great. So yeah, I decided to get the third one, and um, I did a Let's Play, because that's fucking awesome. It's still an early release, but uh, it's really nice. The music is great. The game is an early release? Yeah. It just dropped yesterday. Early? Uh, it dropped really? the 6th of October. They, they decided to go ahead and release it early. Early access. Early access. That's <laughs> early access. Yes, and um, yeah, so there are a few glitches I've encountered so far. I mean, like, if you watch the Let's Play, you can see them, but, like, <laughs> it's pretty fucking smooth. Like, for a second, I'm pretty sure I saw that little cooler, you know, that it changes colors when the computer heats up. Yeah. I thought I saw it start to turn blue a little bit. No. The computer handles it pretty well. Um... When you talk briefly, my mind registers it as you not having teeth. <laughs> I know, yeah, I've seen that. So I actually want to get, um, they have all sorts of different colors. And now that I know that it's like, actually, like, it's pretty cool. Like, this is kind of fucked up because I had lunch and then, like, I, I kind of applied it again or whatever. But, like, now that I know how well it works, like, I was afraid it was going to come off as soon as I closed my mouth. But now that I know how well it works, I actually would like to get different colors and do some funny effects. Like, I like it when people do the different colors on their teeth. I like, you know, how like braces looked. It was pretty cool. That's kind of why I got them when I did. They're just because they looked cool. 
And uh, what I used to do is she would ask me the colors, and anybody who has braces would know. I mean, you, you've not had them, right? But um, braces. Yeah. So you get to you get that wire across your mouth, and each one of your teeth has these like little little hook things that are cemented to them. Yeah. Right, and then so and the, the, the wire goes across, the wire, the... and what holds the wire on are these little, tiny, tiny, tight little rubber bands. Yeah. They come in colors, right? So I would get green and black like all the time: green, black, green, black, green, black, or just black. And I thought it looked cool as shit, because, I mean, you know, come on, yeah. I'm a millennial. I, you know, they, we saw I like the Slipknot shit and Duran Gray and all that shit with like the fucking metal mouth. Grills. Yeah. I mean, grills. I mean, what kid doesn't look at braces and go, "Man, that is cool." Honestly, <laughs> <like>. <laughs> most of them. I think most kids don't think they're cool. I think it's just the weirdos. My, I think my they're cool. My sister got braces, and I was jealous. For a long time. Right, because they're neat. It's neat, but they're not neat when you have them on your mouth. Right, it's they a fucking cool suck. Until it's not a choice. They fucking suck so bad. And I was smoking when I had them on, so. It was and like... then she had to get uh, one of those like fork rake things. 